Hi, how are you? How is life? How have you been? Um, as promised, I've been going live every single day and telling you a story about my life and how I've gotten to where I've gotten and um, sometimes even where I want to go. So um, if you guys don't know, I'm doing a workshop called Visualize this Saturday. Um, it's from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. and it's virtual. So you get to spend all morning with me. Um, and I'm going to be talking, I'm going to be teaching some of the techniques that I use to basically overcome a lot of these obstacles um, in my own life. So um, I hope to see you Saturday. But, you know, today I was, I was struggling with what I wanted to talk about. You know, what was the story? What was the thing that I had been dealing with that has uh, come into fruition, like has really transformed my life into something so much greater? Um, I've always been the person to focus on, you know, where I want to go, not necessarily where I've been. Um, so this has been a really, really great exercise in gratitude in how far I've actually come. Um, so actually, two days ago, I was rearranging. I got a new studio table, and I had to rearrange my apartment so that I could fit everything in and have space to create art and to do all of this. And I encountered something which was really, really interesting. I opened up this box and I was like, oh, shit, what is this? Like, what, what is this? I have no idea what this is. And I opened it and I'm like, oh, my goodness. It's this, this, <laughs> this art project, this thing that I was working on in college as, like, a side thing, as, like, a hobby thing. Um, and it was... Basically, and this is a very interesting description. Now, you know I'm an artist, so th funky, weird things happen. I had tried to create paper out of glue, uh, create tented clear paper out of a specific type of glue, and it didn't work. And I was at a point in my life where I was so... So, I was re so let's just say this. I was recording my emotions every single day. I was writing one or two words that described how I felt at the end of each night and then I would glue the so I broke this piece of glue paper up in, in into like shards almost it wasn't even like flexible it was just like shards of glue paper and I was like oh it didn't work let me just do something else with it this is really interesting material and I couldn't think of anything it's just like this discarded thing and I was like you know what I'm going to record how I feel each night um, on this like weird glue, broken glue paper and glue it to the next piece. So it was like all of these, like each like little broken, I don't even, here's like business cards, right? Like there was like a, each piece, it was like all sharded and gross. And I would write my emotion like on here and then glue, put glue here and then glue the next piece of glue paper on top of it. And I did that for... I don't know, 10 or 15 days. It wasn't very long. It was just like an experimental art project for me, a little journal. And I found this project in like this old plastic Tupperware container two days ago. And I was like, oh my goodness, but I, I, you know, had glued this so I would never be able to fe see what I was feeling. You know, how many years ago? Like four years ago? And I was like, no, I have to see what I was feeling. Like, I know in my mind, this was like a really, really dark time in my life. Like, I was so unhappy with just, uh, just everything except for my career. And I was so unhappy. And um, I was like, I need to see what I wrote. And so on the, in this project, I wrote... Like, I, I was, like, peeling it back. I was, like, I need to see what I felt. I need to see this, like, for some reason, I was, like, let me, like, dig back into old wounds. Let me see what was going on in my brain. And I looked at them two days ago, and I was, like, holy shit. Like, I forget how far I've come. These, these, literally, these shards of glue papers. This is such a weird descriptor. If I only had pictures. Um... I, I ripped one back and it said, lonely. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. Okay, let me rip the next one back. Feeling rejected. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, rip the next one back. Okay, I'm inspired. 
I'm inspired. Okay, rip the next one back. Rejected. Rip the next one back. Like no one understands. And I just kept ripping, and it was a comp compilation of, you know, two-thirds of loneliness and rejection, and a third of inspiration and excitement about where my artistic practice and where my creative flow was taking me. And I, you know, realized in that moment that, in that moment two days ago when I rediscovered this project, that art had literally been the thing for me that was sustaining me through so many hard times, not to mention if you if you don't know my story, like I had chronic nightmares, you know, for a really, really, really long time. And art was the thing that pulled that out of me that said, no, we're not having this anymore. This is not your soul. Your soul is so much more beautiful than that. Your soul doesn't create these nightmares, right? Um, art was the thing that got me through, you know, a really tough relationship, feeling like I wasn't in love with myself anymore, feeling like no one understood art was that thing that kept me going but here's the thing when i was in that place when i was in that inspired state i was envisioning a life where i was with a partner who really loved and respected me i was envisioning that i was enough that i was loved that i was worthy of whatever it is that i could dream and hope for whether it's in my career or not and guess what back then i knew my career like i knew this is what I want to do with my life, but I didn't know what all this personal crap was. Like, what? I have to deal with relationships? What? I have to deal with, you know, all of this other, th all of these other things? And the, the answer is yes, you have to deal with them. And so I, I envisioned a future where I let go of all of that loneliness and I let go of all that, re of that rejection um, in my personal life. And What's interesting is that I've started a new process, uh, a new project where I totally was okay with looking at those. I was like, wow, I really did bring self-confidence and happiness and worthiness into my own life and my ability to be alone with myself for sure. And so in honor of that, in honor of the time span of disintegrating these lonely, rejected feelings, you know, because sometimes you just need time, I started a new a new project. Now, this is very, very, very new. It's very work in progress. Normally, I don't even share stuff like this when it's at this stage because it's so recognizable as, you know, man-made object, I guess. But so I'm going to show you. Now, this is all going to be covered this lid here is all going to be covered in salt um, it's all going to be decorated so you're not even going to know the brand hopefully of what this is but so the in here you can kind of see all of the plastic now this has been in here for a day or two all of the plastic glue paper that I had made disintegrating it's in salt water and I put it in here because I'm literally like this piece was I was literally writing my negative emotions on on these like pieces of paper in here and I put it in here because it needs to officially go somewhere it needs to officially dissolve it needs to officially evaporate and this is kind of symbolic the salt water eating away at the paper over time is symbolic of me saying I envision a life where I am I'm okay with being alone. I'm okay with who I am. And when someone doesn't like me, it's not rejection anymore. It's just me. So this is kind of symbolic of letting go. And um, so you can kind of see this is a project that I'm working on that may lead somewhere and may not. It's very, very new. But I like the symbolic nature, right? Okay, so that's one. The, the jars need themselves to be totally redone. So keep that in mind. I just wanted to keep the process of disintegration, you know, on the way. And then here's another one. This is an interesting one. This is, you know, this is around the same subject, right? For a long time, I thought that I was I was only worthy of whoever's love I received so I was always finding love from without like from outside of me and and if I had it I was happy but if I didn't I was so unhappy if I if I felt lonely I was so unhappy right I if I didn't reconnect with myself I was just so unhappy and here's something that's really interesting now this has only been in here for two days 
And you can kind of see, I wonder if you can see. See how rusted that is? You see like how rusty this is? This is jewelry in salt water for two days. Okay, this is literally necklaces that I've gotten in relationships that I have decided to say, you know what? This is symbolic of what I've already decided, what I've already visualized for myself, which is being okay with who I am and loving myself and, and saying, here's the key, here's the thing about loneliness. It's this idea that you are alone and that is so, so, so not true. I mean, I can look around in my life right now and say, oh my goodness, I'm not alone. My friends are coming over. We're having family dinner night in an hour. Um, my family is looking out for me. Loneliness, it's this idea that you don't love yourself. It's like some sort of disconnection with your soul and with yourself. It switches your perception of who you are and what you are and who's around you and makes you see things or see not see things that are actually there. And instead of seeing all of these amazing people that are surrounding you, you see all of the horrible reasons that they should not be around you. And so, um, so this project is kind of like, it has three necklaces in it. It's got um, a necklace from three of my major relationships in my life, all of which I, when I entered them, I definitely was not seeking love in the right way. I wasn't in love with myself when I first met these people. And so I held on to, Okay, so I have no idea where you guys got cut off. I just know that Facebook was like, oh, you've lost signal and we cannot reconnect. Anyway, so um, if you left off or if you've only seen this video, I was kind of telling a story about um, letting go of this idea that we are, we are the love that we receive from the outside and letting go of this idea of loneliness and all of that. And so this bad boy is my symbolic letting going of, very properly Englished here, um, <laughs> the letting go of all of the relationships that I thought were basically making me whole. And so within this is actually three pieces of jewelry from three different relationships that were really important to me um, and I heavily relied on. And so there's a locket in here, there's a little um, kind of X-like infinity kind of necklace and then there's also um, a circular hearted necklace and this is um, it's all in salt water and it's only been in here for like what two days and you can see how crazy the salt water is um, disintegrating the jewelry but this you know these projects like this one and this one is all it's all about letting go of this idea that we get love from outside of us. And so I'm, I'm talking about, you know, envisioning a day where you are totally, I am totally um, in love with myself and I'm not afraid um, of someone else leaving or someone else not liking me or someone rejecting me because I know that I'm already enough and I, the universe has my back or God has my back or whatever it is that you believe in and it is there for you. And so letting go of these old shitty stories, letting them fade, letting them dissipate and Stepping into what your heart is really telling you is so key. I mean, it's how I got out of these. You know, I was in some bad relationships. It's how I got out of them. It's how I lost 30 pounds. It's how I ended up starting my own business. It's how I decided that, oh, yeah, I am a powerful woman and I'm not afraid to be so, right? It's how I became who I am. And if it weren't for visualizing, if it weren't for letting go of my past, I would not be the person I am today. That is for freaking sure. But um, if you missed the first half of this video, I actually lost connection, so you have to go to my Facebook page and try to find the first half. But um, I do wanna invite you guys to join me on Saturday morning. I'm doing this virtual training, so it's kinda of like this Facebook Live, but off the Facebook platform, so it's a little bit more private, a little bit more cozy. Um, and what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be teaching how to let go of the past, how to listen to what's, your, what's going on in your heart, what you really want, and um, so we're gonna be doing that through like stream of consciousness writing, visualization exercises, and drawing, because you know me and my art. Um, but so you can click the link over in the description 
if you want to join me, you want to hang out for three hours on Saturday morning, it'll be really, really fun and super worth it. So, okay. Have a good, what is it? Thursday. Happy Thursday. Thirsty Thursday. <laughs>